interested in looking for a one bedroom apartment here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, or are you on the lookout for an apartment close to the University of Manitoba? This right here is a video for you to watch. <laughs> Go down below to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and as well give this video a thumbs up. If you're on the lookout for apartment in a certain price range and you would like me to show you what we have here in Winnipeg, Manitoba for that price range, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to do a video for you as well. So this is going to be the one bedroom apartment. The first thing you see when you come into your left is a storage unit. So this is what the this is what the storage you need like um, a closet, your coat closet. So you can use this as your coat closet. Also to my right is the kitchen. So I believe the kitchen is pretty much close to the same size as the two bedroom that we saw downstairs earlier on. It has the same amenities as well. You have your microwave, you have your electric um, stuff. <coughs> you have your electric cooker as well. You also come with a standard fridge as well. Um, your dishwasher and your cabinet as well. Pretty much the same thing with the two bedroom as well. Also to my left is the laundry room for this unit. The difference between the laundry set here and the one downstairs is this one is a stackable unlike the one we saw downstairs so this is the washer and this is your dryer and it has a door so you don't have to worry about the smell of your food interacting with your laundry The kitchen is overlooking the living room so this is the sixth Floor, so obviously you have a bit of a view um, quite a decent size um, living room space as well this living room space is also going to double as your dining room that's if you want one or you can always get like a bath too the living room space is facing your bedroom and your bathroom so the bathroom yeah, the bathroom is pretty much the same size as the master bedroom bathroom we saw here. So it has the same amenities as well. So it comes with your bath, not a shower. So this comes with a bathtub, your regular toilet, a um, water closet, and that as well. Um, one thing I like about the bathroom is I like how it's very spacious. So you don't feel like you're cramped because someone like me, I'm claustrophobic. So space. Essential. I'm going to be showing you what the bedroom looks like right now. So this is the room. Hmm. The bedroom, the room comes with rug. So um, I don't even notice, but in the living room, it's kind of like a plywood, unlike the bedroom that has a rug. So this is, when I say a medium-sized bedroom, but I feel like a queen-sized bed can definitely fit. In here and you have a large window as well yeah that's pretty much it and your closet is quite deep the closet is quite deep as well so this is like this is a mini working closet it's quite deep 
And I feel like this should be enough for you. I mean, if you have more clothes, then you probably look into more storage space. But yes, guys, this is what a one bedroom looks like. I'm going to be telling you so much about the apartment once we get into the car, how much it costs, and what the parking space, indoor and outdoor, costs, and pretty much the other amenities they have that this beauty offers. Okay? So I'll see you guys soon. So I am back home right now and I want to give you guys the full details of this apartment I just showed you. And what the amenities of this particular building has to offer you and the things included in the rent as well. Lastly, I'm also going to be giving you the information for you to reach out to them if you would like to see this particular one in person or if you would like to see the other apartment that they have right now that you can rent. So I'm going to leave the details in the description box. Okay, one thing you have to bear in mind when it comes to apartment is the higher the apartment floor you pick, the more expensive it's going to be. So let's say this building has like a six uh, floor or seven floor, however many floors they have, the higher you go, the more expensive the apartment is going to be. So yes, you might be wondering why am I paying um, a different amount from someone else who is on the second floor, why am I paying a different amount from someone who is on the third floor or the fourth floor, or why am I paying a different amount from someone who is living in the corner apartment? Because corner apartments tend to be bigger, so in terms of square feet, so you have to put that in mind. If your apartment is bigger in terms of square feet, you are going to be paying more. So these are all the things. These are specifications of apartment that you have to look at when you're factoring price as well. So for this apartment, the one she showed us, the two bedrooms she showed us, if they only have six floors. If you're going to be going for the sixth floor for that apartment, it's going to cost you it's going to cost you seventeen seventy. Bear in mind on the top floor. And this rent includes water, heat, and internet. So you don't have to worry about paying any other additional you don't have to worry about paying any other additional bills. Once you pay your rent, you're good for the month. You don't have to worry about, oh my god, I wonder what my Antoba IJO is going to charge me this month. Oh, it's winter. Um, I left my eat on all day how much is that going to be you don't have to worry about that if you like you can leave your eater on for money tonight you are fine you don't have to worry about that and that costs 1770 and that's for the two bedroom two bathroom on the sixth floor and if you do decide you have a car and you would like the indoor parking the indoor parking is a hundred and twenty five dollars per month while the outdoor parking is $75. This particular Onyx building that I just showed you, this is the first time I'm actually seeing that an apartment has an underground car wash. Isn't that amazing? You literally don't have to leave your house. You have a car wash down, downstairs. Um, also, what else do you have to bear in mind? This building, I can tell you this building is very beautiful. This building, yes, it was close to the main road, but it was soundproof. I couldn't hear the sound of the cars at all. At all. Like, it's soundproof. Really soundproof. So, that's also a good thing. Also, it's literally in the middle of uptown. So, this is on Pemina Highway. Pemina Highway is like five minutes away from University of Manitoba. So, if you're a student, if you're a new international student looking for a good apartment whereby you can stay that is close to the University of Man uh, Manitoba, this is a good apartment for you as well. Also, even if you're not a student, if you're just someone who's looking for a good apartment, this is a good apartment. Multiple buses there, so that is a very good bus route for you. So if that's something you're also going to be considering if you're not driving, yes, the bus route to downtown and the bus route to anywhere uptown, you can get it around that area and it's a very short distance so that's a plus i keep saying this because i know a lot of people who are probably going to invest in my so but i want um an apartment close to the school fabulous and some um something the agent also told me is you don't also have to be a student they have a lot of people in this building whether you're a student your family um even retired people also reside in this building i am only making references on students because of the location and how great the location is if your soul attends university of Manitoba, and even if you're going to be attending university of winnipeg there is a straight bus right there that you can take all the way to University of Winnipeg, but then again, you also have to 
factor in your commute time especially in the morning when it's kind of rush hour so that's something you also have to um, bear in mind also if you're going to be getting an apartment something I would like to advise you to get a rental insurance I asked the agent about the rental insurance is this something that is a requirement because in my present apartment getting a rental insurance is a requirement for you to live in this building and she said no um, she did say she would advise you to get a rental insurance which I I agree with personally I know it might seem like oh um, this is an expense you don't want to incur but in the long run and anything can happen you really want to just pay your rental insurance this is something you just pay once for the year and you don't have to worry about it again I know in my building they do offer that you can pay um, monthly but you just find paying um, a year is just it's just better especially if you are not going to be paying any other um, external bills like water once you pay your rent you don't want to be thinking about other kind of bills concerning um, your accommodation I just say pay for the whole year and just get over it um, the insurance I have for my place um, I don't think it's up to $200 I'm not sure I also remember living in one of my old apartments some years back and we realized that we were having water damage as well in that building and it had cost more. Fine, we were, the landlord was actually going to incur that cost because I we noticed this from a very early stage and we kept calling him. He didn't come fix it, he didn't come take a look at it, he didn't send people to come take a look at it. He left it and the moment he came to look at it and he came with the professionals to look at the water damage, they are told they told us we had mold in the apartment and we were given an hour to vacate the building. So basically we didn't have insurance. So just imagine all of a sudden someone looks at your door and they tell you you have an hour to leave your apartment in cases like that if you have um tenancy insurance they are going to cover your bill they're going to cover where you're going to stay for the meantime i think for a period of time so tenancy insurance definitely has a lot of benefit please get tenancy insurance whether you're a family you're a student you're a single person living alone you never can tell what can happen accidents happen all the time so please pay your tenancy insurance the amount you're going to pay for your tenancy insurance is nothing compared to what you're going to pay for the cost of any damage that you incur while living in that apartment okay if you'd like to see more empty apartments in different price range please leave a comment down below thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video video oh yeah please don't forget to subscribe guys guys please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and i'll see you in my next one bye